Welcome to another Modern League. We're going to be playing some more Bring to Light Scape Chef today. If you enjoy the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And we're going to see with opener, we find, like, we're definitely playing against Lurus. Lurus deck is this the only companion that people play, so this this short pause means that it is it is Lurus deck. Indeed. Um, keeping this for sure. This hand, this hand slaps. So we can go get probably Katria Trium DRC of the Revealer Sachet. Thank you for the follow. Death Shadow. Okay, so that's gonna be a three three. <laughs> So, Ketria Triome over here. Because if I find exactly Ren, I'm going to kill this. But if I don't find Ren, I'm just going to Chalice. My point is asking whether I'm a streamer. Letting them know that that is indeed correct. So they know about this, and I guess that's all they know about. Tarmogoofy. Mm. Haven't played more since Mr. Kimel, is starting particularly good right now? No, <laughs> it's the opposite of particularly good. It's actually quite poorly positioned. Damn it. So I definitely want to get another green source here. I guess it has to be a second trium. I want to make sure that I can double explore. Oh, come on, man. Don't make me lose land drops here. Okay. Whew. So we can go with Verdict. Unless my opponent has TBR. If they have TBR, we're probably dead. So that's four plus, I guess we'd go down to one exactly? Down to two. Oh, cause it doesn't give them double str Oh, that's crazy. One, two, red, blue, green. Just gonna go with verdict. No, why? Why did that work like that? I'm very confused. Oh, point is at thirteen. That's why. That's why. Yeah, you, 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 you folks are, are correct. So. If I go for a Dryad, if my opponent has this member, we lose. Bird effects, think of the follow. Um, so what I can do here is I can play Dryad plus Ren, getting back a land. If they have this member, I lose. But if they have this member and I play Omnath and I, find, I fail to find land, I also lose. So I think it's better for me to do this. And now the Dryad's gonna chump. 
and Omnath is gonna gain some life. It's gonna stay. Oh, they have another TBR. Okay, we're we're dead. I guess we would have we would have gotten there. I guess we would have died anyway to the TBR, so it didn't matter. Okay, so this. Um, Rest in peace seems is kind of interesting. Probably worth it. Probably like the fairies. Endurance is fine. Chalice seems good. Ending seems good. Escape shift seems okay. No, I I just it was the turn that I missed the land drop where where everything went to shit. Let's leave one Dryad to be TL4, that's it. Well, but then I'm left with the with the thing, right? I'm gonna keep this hand. I'm left with the... Um, with the Omnath, like if I jump with the Omnath, then I can't gain life anymore. Probably take the rest in peace. Take the Chalice. So now they can't discard spell me. If they play a Goif, I just rip. Donnie with a tier one sub. Thank you for the 15 months, Donnie. How's everything going? Not finding green source here is pretty, it's pretty rough. Uh, this is the life that I chose. I was trying to delay the, playing the resting piece so I could at least get some value from the rents, but... This is my life now, so... There's that. Yep. So now they can finally play their their scourges that they're holding in hand. I can't even cast a wrath if I find it. Oh hello. <laughs> uh we were not meant to win this match. We were not meant to win this match. Sometimes you're just not meant to win the match, you know? Well, I mean, I'm gonna try. It's not gonna work. But I'm gonna try, because I don't have any other options. Hey, okay. That just happened? All right. They have another Scourge. Okay. Prismatic ending. Another BTL. Okay. I can work with this. I can work with this. This is acceptable to me. <laughs> All right. 
that was weird. That was very weird, but that that happened. So moving on. Um, Basic Forest OP. Basic Forest confirmed OP. They would just casually rip BTL into BTL like absolute, like absolute professionals, man. Just ripping those top decks like nobody's business. Pune has, they're playing four, full four colors. Thank you, Ash, have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, there goes the Chalice, which is fine. Play that. What green and blue spells? I don't know. I have not seen a single blue spell, but they played Tarmogoyf. They play Goyf, they play DRC, they play Scourge. Played a bunch of stuff. Just gonna keep delaying that Scourge as long as I can. Conte Tsuken, thank you for the follow. Damn it! Now they can play the Scourge. They also showed me Shadow Game 1, I think. Overgrown Tomb. Three mana. Put Lurus in hand. Okay. Okay. More fetching, more shocking. DRC. Lurus. Yes. So, just gonna get Savai Triumph here. White, blue, green, red. I know this is the um, just Sky Triumph. Oh no, they know what I'm gonna draw. They know about my sacred foundry? Green, red. What is more frustrating, discard spells or counter spells? Yes, yeah, that's, that is certainly the correct answer. Yes is correct. Now I think that counter spells are more frustrating. I mean, at this point, I feel like we we have kind of like grown accustomed to them. At least me myself personally, I feel like I've just kind of grown accustomed to counters and discard spells. So they're just kind of whatever to me. We're gonna tap with Omnath. So that would be sick. We are going to end up with Omnath.
So when it goes down to one. Oh, we don't have Helix anymore. Uh, where's my deck list? There. So I can't, I can't finish them off at one. That's inconvenient. <laughs> you can't find Ren and Six with Ring to Light, uh, Adam. This only fetches for creatures, instants, or sorceries. Yeah, I know, it's pretty counterintuitive, really. Um, I'm gonna beat the yellow just the same, though. They're gonna kill their own dude. Discard a card, two damage to any target. Sure. I think I'm just discarding this chalice here. This means they're still at one, and this also means that they cannot uh, they cannot gain life anymore. We play the sacred foundry that I shocked for. Put a card on top. We're still gonna get to cast the Lurus. And then we can play the Chalice off of the Lurus, which is really funny. It's kind of awesome. Also, if we find a fetch land. Well, that's just hilarious. Oh no, because I don't have double green. Awkward. Awkward. Because we can BTL escape shift just to get the triggers. That's what we should have done last turn. Yeah, that's what I should have done last turn. I should have BTL for just Escape shift, just crack two random lands, find any other two lands, and then would have triggered Omnath twice. There's only one escape shift in my list. Chalice for one, baby. <laughs> now they drew this stubby D. That's hilarious. Wow, they brought in Ancient Grudge. Jeez. They found the Goif. All right. All right. This just keeps going. <laughs> Another Omnath. Alright, so... Because of Star Wars Denial, I'm gonna lead on Chalice. Although I guess they can just grudge it, so it doesn't really matter. And now we escape shift. Green. Oh, but we just attack and it's lethal. Yeah, this is fine. Whatever. It 
even if they have the stubborn denial here, we just attack with two creatures and they just die. Sweet, got there. Two for the Necrom. This is round number two. Sure. This hand would be great against the Cascade deck. The monkey. Don't steal my lands, okay? They're gonna find prismatic ending or something. God damn it! I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! Oh, a fucking monkey! Ah. Oh man! I hate this fucking monkey with a passion, dude. Fuck this monkey! Can't even get mad at the one who called it. Yeah, I was just calling the worst case scenario, and of course the worst case scenario is exactly what happens, god damn it. Stupid fucking monkey. God damn. I hate it so much, man. <sighs> if they flip another ending, I'm just gonna lose my shit. Oh, sure. Well, I guess I can just minus on that. And I can replay it. So that's kind of fine. Monkeys love Donnie. Don't do this to me, Donnie. Don't do this to me, Donnie. Oh man, now they have counterspell. So I play the Dryad to block their monkey and they can just counter my Dryad. <sighs> my opponent played a one drop on turn one and I can't win the game anymore. I'm just gonna play this, my opponent's gonna counter it. They're gonna get another attack in with the monkey. I can't win this game anymore now. Well, I guess, what, what? Why? Why did that resolve? Is their hand just like mono one drops? Oh, they're cycling. Okay. Maybe we have a shot here. <laughs> Maybe I should have played that in zero actually. Huh. The fact that we're not hitting land drops also is, is, is rough. Play the land? What? Dryad fixes the mana for monkey too. How is there no monkey dryad deck? <laughs> How is there no monkey dryad there? You gotta fix your mana for monkey. Bloodmoor incoming? I don't think I wanna place Bloodmoor main deck. 
I think they play Blood in their sideboard, though. So I guess here I have to... Rain actually kind of slaps. Rain's pretty sick there. We can hope to Laxac here. Okay. Talk to me. Hold the fort. Hold the fort. Sexy man, hold the fort. I mean, the real hero here is, is Chalice number two, right? deck turn things around really quick yep I can see that I'm probably supposed to verdict here Oh no, we just win. We just beat the L for escape shift. Damn, Chalice, dude. Chalice doing nasty, nasty things over there. Uh, no, I have a Dryad. I only need six lands. I mean, I drew another land for what's worth, but I didn't need it. White, black. I have a Ren and Six in play. I fetch. I Ren and Six. The land back to my hand. Wow. Even after my opponent went turn one monkey immediately Luxac into the best possible option, we still managed to get there. These are the cards that I like. I think I like Chalice well enough. And Prismatic Ending is my best answer to Blood Moon. We need to aggressively fetch for basics. Sure. 
Gonna try to play around Blood Moon here, I think. If they were for turn one, turn two Merc Tide, we can counter that, which is nice. Monkey. Sure. Stumping round down. Freed Mania with the Prime Sub coming back for 22 months. Chalice Emote win. Yeah, I guess, Freed, you're right. So, I guess what I need to happen is for my opponent to not crack the treasure and to play the Blood Moon so that I can wear tear and I can, um, I can actually uh, fuse this. I think that works. This works, right? I'm pretty sure this works. Yeah. <laughs> if they didn't have a treasure as a legal target, I couldn't cast the wear there. <clears throat> if they didn't have the random treasure there, I wouldn't have been able to cast the wear there fused, which is really funny. I mean, we could still be in a lot of trouble here if they have another moon or, well, it's not a good play. Uh, Chalice for two? Chalice for two, counter, Cideration. Seems worth. Counter spell. <laughs> Bring to light prison, baby. BTL prison. We were drawing a bunch of garbage, but yeah, Chalice has that power on people where they just get frustrated for whatever reason. Who knows? See you for the next round. Welcome to round number Lurus. Round number Lurus, meaning literally every single round of every single modern league ever. Uh, this is a fine hand though. BTL for Madcap for both. Now you're talking, Mr. Riv. Oh wow, monkey. Evan did change the, the color of the monkey. That's sick. Gather your information, opponent. They are not gonna have perfect info. They're gonna they could have they had double bubble. They could have known what I drew and they would have known what I'm gonna draw next turn. And they gave up on on some of that info. Tisk tisk tisk. Can we find another Ren and Six? Can we find another Ren? What do you think? What do you think? How close is the dream? Probably not gonna fetch here on end step. Yeah, iteration is pretty good here. A 
Red and six is the glue. Yep. Red and six is the best card in this deck for sure. Spire Bluff Canal. Okay, so no shadows. Ran off the top. Easy game, easy life. I'm gonna have to get a Temple Garden here. That's cool. The MTG bought all this calculator. I didn't even know that was a thing. How does that work? Exclamation point odds. 51-3. Drawing one or more of three cards from one draw in 51 card deck. Okay. I'm going to lose to that, aren't I? Green, red, white, blue. They're playing Counterspell? No way. Drown in the lock, F. Big F. So I guess I'm gonna have to pitch this BTL and I'm gonna try to hope that I find a land off the top. Uh, the Scrox is gonna kill us real quickly though. Am I supposed to just be in this Dryad? I think I'm just gonna be in the Dryad. And then I can go like BTL into BTL. I need to find an untapped land off the top though. Any untapped land, that's it. Cause I'm trying to BTL for, for Valky anyway. So any untapped land, that's it. Sick. Blue, green, red, white so i can find a basic island here it sucks that they just dies to to anything, to Lightning Bolt, to Gate Command, to whatever. But if obviously if I get to end up with the Bolt, that would be awesome, but not gonna happen. This is just bait. I'm hoping my opponent drowns this thing. And I'm going to resist the temptation of playing this Croxa <laughs> for my opponent to play it again against me. Yeah, that's a good top deck. It's a good top deck for them. They kind of need to use their mana to kill this, though. Bloodstained Mire. We untapped. They have Snapcaster, right? 
this forces the snapcaster. Because if they had K Command, they would have played it the previous turn, right? So they obviously have Snapcaster. Open book. Opponent, you are an open book. You are an open book, opponent. So now they don't have Counterspell anymore. I mean, they could have another Drown, but like they don't have it, another one in the bin. So I guess that I can't really play around anything here. So I might as well... Let me make these Crocs a tiny over here. Um... Targeted themselves and shuffled, and then fetched in shock. That's a lot. Lurus. Play the cat. They're gonna bubble. Okay, so our best top deck would be a fetch land. My opponent knows what we're drawing. Omnath, well, red, white, that's what I was going to be TL for anyway, so here goes nothing, land please, okay, I'd like to kill that, can I, can I kill that, yes, sick, Dry it, dry it, let's go. Let's go, dry it. DRC. Terminate the Omnath. Okay. Terminate the Omnath. Bolt Dryad. Gonna double bolt. And then you just cast this BTL, escape shift, kill them. Zero cards in hand, you say, opponent, huh? Like to cast the card Scape Shift. Mountain, 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 mountain. Face, 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 face. Kill your dude. Kill your dude. C -c -c Got him. All right, endurance, please. Uh, rest in peace. Did they show me monkey? I totally forgot. I think I've only had a monkey at one point. No, they didn't.
Krog suffer, so you know the cost is clear. Honestly, it wouldn't have been... I was considering it. <clears throat> so I don't like Dry in this kind of matchup. Croc sign to that chalice. Let's actually do this. They counter the chalice. They counter the chalice. Isn't Raikun the name of a Pokemon? That was about the time where I just wasn't playing Pokemon games anymore. But Pokemon is probably the single game that I spend the most hours in. Yellow. I guess at this point it's probably Magic, but besides Magic, the only known, the known Magic game that I spent the most time playing was probably the Game Boy Color Pokemon. I had the yellow. The green, the blue, and the red versions. We have the gold and silver, and that's it. That's where it's come from, but I made that name when I was out 11, just kept on using it. Oh, really? That's such a crazy coincidence, then. I remember Suikun was like the blue one, right? Yeah. This was like a legendary Pokemon of sorts. Yeah. Th was this one from... This was from, from, the, from the 251 Pokemons, right? Raikun is like Suicune and Raikou. We're more like Sindaris in Gen 2. Yeah, the whole gen thing, I don't know how it works. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep this hand. Um, the gen thing, I don't really know how it works, but it's like I, I go by games. So like gen two would be gold and silver. Yeah, okay, yeah, that, that, that's what I was thinking. And that's as far as I went. That's as far as I went in terms of... Because then you needed to have like... I only had the Game Boy Color, and then the next games just came coming up or like Game Boy Advance or like another ones. And it's just like... a. No, I'm gonna buy them. I was buying PS Vitas at that point. Maybe it was correct, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't. Probably it wasn't. That's awful. That's an awful draw. They knew about this from the bubble. Maybe this is more of a control deck, so I shouldn't be prioritizing this as much. I don't know. That was a good top deck, though. They could have call against command, which would be really annoying, but... It's kind of nice how this actually gets to play around. This gets to play around uh, because I didn't fetch turn one, place around round. So we know that if they pass, it's because they have call against command. Which would be kind of annoying. If they put Lurus in hand, that just means that they put Lurus in hand. But K Command is always a two for one here. No real way around it. Yeah, yeah. Um, oops, mean that.
Maybe I should have. Hmm. Maybe I should have been one of these prismatic endings. Yeah, that's pretty good. If they miss land drop, I can resolve this Omnath though. Oh, Inquisition doesn't take Omnath. So they know about both of these cards. If we find a non fetch land, <laughs> that's like the only non fetch land that I couldn't use. Um, so, Sacred Foundry. So, white, green, red, blue. Hey, that's a good one. So they can drown this Omnath, or we already got a second one. They're, they're at five cards in hand. Crocs. I shouldn't have done that because fatal push. Uh, yeah, or drowning the lock, I guess. Ah, uh, shit! Stupid Crocs, I mean. Yeah, that was that was really bad. I should have I should have just been the land. Damn it! Oh, what I could have done there is I could have played my land plus the fairy, and then if my opponent crocs us, I can exile it. Oh yeah, that that was that would have been so much better. Yeah, I, I this last couple of turns were this disaster on my part. Now if they have unholy heat, this is just terrible. Yeah. One is drawing better than I am. It's okay, it's Friday. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate it. They have another Croxa. Yeesh. All right. Rip off the top. Scape shift. Rip. Rest in peace. Explore into rest in peace. Yeah, these Croxes are just gonna grind me down. Why are my good cards? I guess one of them I threw into the garbage for no reason, but... Or my other good cards. Rest in peace, rest in peace, rest in peace. Ren would also be okay. Chalice for two. Yeah, 
I can't do that. <sighs> Didn't play this game very well. So they're gonna get back their second Crocs. Uh, and I guess we're just gonna have to bounce it. That's so bad. If we find a resting piece, maybe that's okay. So many two for ones for my opponent. If we draw land land off the top, then it's it's gonna be really bad. Chalice for two. Alright, that's big. Well Can we please do the trifecta? <laughs> Can we please do the trifecta? Draw a land and just chalice one, two, three. Please. Please. No. Yes. 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 Land off the top. Yes. This is what we call the lock. <laughs> uh, this is, this was very enjoyable. This, oh man. This was very, very enjoyable. Uh, see you for the next round. That was awesome. All right, look at my fellow Thoughtsy game, Thoughtsy's gamer over there. Sure, keep this. My fellow Thoughtsy's gamer. Chefau. They can't make Asmo uncounterable, right? I think that's how it works. So they're just playing like blue, white, Ursa Asmo nonsense. Not bad. Above average top deck, that one. Can we find second Valakid? That's not second Valakid. Green, red, blue, white.
So this is seven damage. This is seven damage. What does that do for me? Because their dudes are gonna be huge. I think I just chill though. So they get their token, which is gonna be massive. It's a big ass construct. They're probably gonna get a Shadow Spear here. Another cookbook. Okay. That is so confusing to me. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, damn it. Well, we're, we're, now we're fucked, right? Unless my opponent blinks first, which they're probably not going to. Um, I did not know that you could chalice through. Because they spent the mana to cast it, but this doesn't have a converted mana cost? That's so fucking confusing. Three... Six, nine. I didn't miss lethal here, right? Four, ten, thirteen. I, I could have put my opponent out of one. I just would have been able to put my opponent out of one. Now their dudes become small. So these are gonna go back to eight eights. So I think this doesn't matter. And the life is going to mean more to me than the... Because I want to keep the Omnath in play. So I think I have to send here. And we need to draw exactly Bring to Light or Escape Shift. Oh, they're going to be nine nines. I miscounted? Oh, shit. That's lethal. Yeah, one too late. So explosives, great against them. Forces, great against them. Very fine. I don't think resting piece is where I want to be. I don't like chalices. Like it was so obviously fine there, but I, it was actually, we don't know how good it was actually. Uh, this card, I don't think it's very good. The verdict seems fine. Kataki. Yeah, yeah, I like Kataki for sure. Uh, 
let's go with shave. Let's go another explorer. The thing is that Ren is just so good on the play. I don't think I can cut out Ren. Sure. This is a mulligan to six, but it's a pretty good mulligan to six. Pretty good mold to six. Hey, uh. Sup, Ren? How are the how are those six? How's six doing, Ren? Is six doing okay? I'm so good at drawing the one of Valky. I really am, dude. It's like a skill that I've developed over the years, apparently. Prismatic ending, probably. I don't think there's anything you'd rather do here than Prismatic Ending this rent, right? Okay. I think I just cast Time Walk here. Missing land drops, huh? Missing land drops, you say, huh? Missing land drops, you say. Uh, I guess I'd rather wear. Wait, do I? No, I'd rather prismatic ending actually because I can I'm I'm hard casting Valky next turn. I think this one's locked up. Now they kill Ren. It's too late, buddy. It is way too late. Prismatic ending this. <laughs> Prismatic ending this one right here. Okay. Um, how do we feel about this dispute on the draw? Nah, not feeling it. Uh, I think we're gonna do this same thing. Iteration is the only card that I'm kind of thinking about. This seems to be like a little bit of a slugfest, but I don't think we want to do that. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, yes. Cookbook. Pog. 
Loggers. That's a top deck, baby. That's a uh, that's an evil average top deck right there. We like that top deck. We like that top deck. So they can have Pied Needle here. Uh, let's get basic planes. So unless they do something, they die next turn. So two two. Should tap that one. Three threes. What do you got, opponent? Realistically, they just need to have an answer to this, right? I still don't know how I feel about these food decks. They seem kind of mopey sometimes. And they're just so greedy with their mana base. They're playing like Ursas and stuff like that, and they're super mana hungry, but they, they play four lands that just destroy themselves, and they play like 22 lands or something like that. Windswept Heath, sure. Seems like they're getting a little bit cute there. Getting a little bit cute, see cute. Can I play around removal here? Can I and should I? I die to pass to exile. have it still seems worse to go in for it right wait for next turn that's like zero punishes in there well i mean the longer that i wait the more likely that there is that they have the card that i'm playing around so i have to kind of weigh in how 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 much do i think that my opponent has path and i don't think that they have it but that's like the only card that I lose to. And I was very careful not to kill their construct, because if I kill their construct, I, I'm enabling fatal push too. But I don't think that they have path to exile. Anyway, 4 0, baby. Next round. Last round. Here we go. Playing against I Ivan Guille. This person always plays Blood Moon decks. Oh, not playing Bloodman today. Uh, 
I think they, they, they always play um, just Ponsa. <laughs> Spider, where are you? <laughs> God damn it. I'm so good, man. Like it is, I am disturbingly good at drawing this stupid fucking bulky. I often hear opening chess is bad EV, but if that's true, why are the dealers paying those prices? They probably won't make losses with the prices, so shouldn't it be worth to open in theory, at least if you open a slot? Um, I sell my tickets, right? Sinalco. So I'd rather have $2.50 than a chance at getting a card that I'm just going to have to to sell and when I sell that card, I'm also gonna take another loss, right? Because nobody's gonna, like I'm gonna have to sell two bots at buy price, so. No more certain visioning for you, I say. No more serum visions. Hey, look, there's a Valky again, yeah. There's always a freaking Valky there. Pierce, bold face. Okay. That's the that's the sound that the the Merktide region does whenever you bounce it back to hand. Maybe I should have fetched for for an island there. Wait, what? Uh oh. Does that mean Colonus command? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit, chat. I don't like that one bit. So I guess we're just gonna... Oh, I can't, I don't have a black source. So the Merktide is coming back next turn. That's quite obnoxious. We really have to find another one of these or something like that. Um. If I chalice on two, what happens? I can't play my Ren. My opponent has like counter spells and stuff like that, but that doesn't matter because I have baby Tef. I think I have to cycle here. Because I have to find an answer to the to the Merc Tide. So I think it's better for me to cycle here. Chalice. I'm gonna play that one for zero in case they draw bubble, which I did see. And play this step and say go. They kind of have only one play. Yep. Prismatic ending. No one's not gonna cut it, champ. 
That one is not gonna cut it. Um, find Trium. We're still two lands away from this. We're still two lands away from Valky. They failed to find an island in a swamp? That is to have been a misclick. I guess they have to kill the fairy here, right? Yeah. So this, we get our, our free turn. That's our free turn. Cycle. It's an Omnath, and that's a Ring to Light. Okay. So what matters the least? Probably the ch the problem is if I play the chalice and my opponent has Archmage's Charm instead of Counterspell, we are in really really bad shape. So I guess I have to do this and play Omnath. I just snap resolved. I think we get a fetch land. I think now I play Chalice for two. I think this is fine. You will chalice for two into Valky in that order. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do it in that order? Also, my only black source is this, right? My only black source is enters tapped. So that's not really an option. And also, you know, playing the chalice and then play the two drop is not a great idea. I mean, I, I can't, I don't know if it's a great idea or not. I just, I just wouldn't recommend it myself, you know. Maybe it's a fine idea. Who knows? It's a 3 3 flyer. Hard for us to beat a 3 3 flyer. Quite challenging to beat a 3 3 flyer. Um, so how does this work now? I want to make sure that I can play Valky as well as the BTL. Can I do that? I think I can. Green, white, red, white. So this is five men, I have one floating. I guess we can just double BTL. That seems good. Hey, that was fun. How all those mana symbols doubled up? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Pew, pew, 
one, two. Always yes, always yield, always yield. So I was thinking that you just escape shift and kill them, or is this not a escape shift deck? No, yeah, this, this is escape shift deck, yeah. I was think I was just going over my, my options, right? Like, there's no need to rush things. No need at all to rush anything. Just take our time. Gotta see what's up. Try to figure out what the best the best course of action is. It is for the 5-0 after all, right? Too much on the line. Oh, the 61 card special. Whoops. I think I'm keeping this, right? Rest in peace is kind of the nuts against them. Unless they have like turn one monkey. If they have turn one monkey, this hand is not great, but. They have turn one monkey. Damn it. Please be a DRC. 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 That's, yeah. Prismatic ending. So that's gonna keep the DRC at bay. But we're still gonna be taking three a turn for a while. Also, Merktide is no longer a concern. Black mana. Probably targeting me. Yep. Sell a couple of fetches. Kinda of would have liked to draw those fetches, but this is what it is. This monkey's beating me down. Vala could exiled. Damn it. Iteration. So the good thing is that this blanks a bunch of their spells. So a bunch of their spells are just not good, like, and Holy Heat doesn't do anything. So Resting Peace is doing a lot of work here. I wonder what the Black Splash is for. Thought to Well, there, there, there we go. <laughs> That's... And that's what the black splash is for. We figure it out. They left a card on top. Probably the best card in this hand is either one of these. Probably the explorer, actually. Take the triad. Drown as well. It could be drowned, that's true. On one card. I 
They did leave a card on top. And I think they know what I'm drawing. Upkeep. What? <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so they know what I'm drawing, so they're just gonna just gonna use because uh, I was drawing a uh, prismatic ending. Okay. It's pretty big actually. Because now we have the chalice on one and now we can actually bounce monkey. Now we can bounce monkey and my opponent can't replay it. So that's big game. I guess if we find the line, we're also just going to wrath. So there's that. We are down to eight with this attack. by Trium. What if they hit an Omnath? Uh, they can't cast it. This doesn't fix mana, right? They actually need to have the colors necessary. The necessary colors. Will be proper English. Hold against command. Discards a card. Okay. Not too surprised to see to see to see that. Call against command makes sense. So I assume my opponent's gonna go face here. If they have a bunch of bolts, they have a bunch of bolts, but not much that can be done about it. But I don't want to, you know, they can, I, I want to bounce the monkey anyway, and I, I think they can just dash it, so. Put Fluster Storm into the graveyard? So they have thought ceases, they have call against commands, fluster storm. They're splashing for a bunch of stuff. They have a bunch of non-conventional cards they're playing. So everything goes at monkey. Everything goes at, at the fairy, I mean. Including the monkey. If I find the land that I BTL. I think I BTL for Omnath. Or I can just draw the Omnath. That sounds better. They have Counterspell. Brutal, dude. They also have Dispute. Jeez. Thought ceased, gonna take my BTL now. <sighs> Run out of time here. Just monkey, dude. Bitter blossom. 
awesome. Whew. All right. Land. I kind of need a gnome nav. It's probably game. It's probably game. So at this point, we have to Omnath into land, or we have to either Omnath into land, or um... <laughs> they found the chalice, that's funny. Endurance, we can't cast. Wow, we just whiffed for a million turns. Can never find land number five. 28 lands, not enough. So Renan 6 is a lot better on the play, so I want the full 4 copies. Probably over the Explorers. Should just cut that. They're not playing blood, then they're splashing black, so. <laughs> Beater Blossom, dude. That's a card I haven't seen in a long time. Is ending extra less? Yes. Hence, why this is what we call synergy. The only reason why we get to play both of these together, which works beautifully. All right, baby. Hell yeah, look at this opener. An absolute delight. I think I'm going in Triumph on one. Yeah. Riftier, thank you for the follow. Again, I'm assuming my opponent's not playing Blood Moon, so I'm not going to play around it this game. If they thought this game, my opponent's going to have... <laughs> they're going to have a very, very interesting decision here. They're going to have a very, very interesting decision. The monkey, I just kill it. GTFO. Let's cower me? Um, I think that hitting my land drops is way too important here. So I'm just gonna play these explosives for one. Make it so my opponent can't play Ragavan. I'm gonna play around against command with we did see green red 
blue, white. This turn, I think I am playing the Rip though. Rip plus Pink was equal to Yeah, the problem with that is that I don't, I'm not hitting my land drops, right? If I do that, then I don't have enough land drops to, to hit. I, I put a higher premium on hitting my land drops than I did on... Put two cards on top. So this is a Merktide. Drawing the second rape is pretty brutal there. It didn't stop opponent. Yeah, it didn't stop because my opponent got ahead, right? But like it, it probably stopped. My opponent got extremely lucky the previous game because they drew all the threats. Like they didn't they didn't draw a single Merc Tide regen, right? They didn't draw a single Merc Tide, they didn't draw a single Drowning Lock. All of these cards are rip. Would have compl uh, would have completely blind. They just didn't draw them. They just got absurdly lucky. And now I'm about to lose. Damn it. They have one card left in hand, but whatever, whatever, like they kept on top, so. Is that a 6 6? So I'm hoping that whatever they kept on top was, you know, one of the cards that Rip slows down at least. It's really good. It's really good. Okay, so we can draw Valakut, Bring to Light, Scapeshift, another Omnath. Uh, what else? Um, that's kind of it, I guess. The Fairy also wins. The Fairy would be excellent. I think that we have a lot of very good top decks. Even the Supreme Verdict would be great. Beetle Blossom is kind of annoying, but beatable if we can answer the Merc Tithe. If we draw any of the cards that I just mentioned, we should be in okay shape. Any of the cards that I just mentioned, please. That doesn't do it. Um, I can put this on one so I don't die to... Well, now Valaka doesn't do it anymore. So Valaka no longer a good draw. Because we're going to take some six more. So Valaka no longer a good draw. Uh, but everything else still plays. So we're looking for Omnath. We're looking for BTL. We're looking for Scape Shift. One card left in hand for our opponent.
<laughs> we trade Titan, we win, yes. I guess that this deck's version of that is if we draw BTL, we, we win. So, any of these win, any of these. This just buys me time, this buys me time. This is like kind of weird. I probably cast it though. And that's kind of it. They cracked Fire the Islet. No, no, the card, instead of going to the graveyard and getting exiled, uh, it just gets destroyed. Got my second rest in peace. We got what we got here. We have one top deck. My opponent stepped out. And we have multiple cards that win the game on the spot. Can we rip it? Just we can rip it. That, my friends, is a 5 0. Unless they have Force of Negation, which I didn't see, so I'm assuming they don't have it. Valakut, Valakut, Valakut. Trium, Trium, Trium. All of these triggers are gonna go over here to your face. Yes, always oh, dear old. Yeah, my opponent drew very well. My opponent drew very, very well, but it came down to that last top deck. Particularly game two. I think my opponent's draw game two could not have been any better than it was. All right. Five and oh, how do we feel about the deck list? Um, there are a couple of cards in the cyber that I'm not too sold on. Still no idea whether this card is good or not. Feels like kind of a waste of a slot. I didn't play against any like grindy mid-range style decks. And I don't think we want that kind of card against the Merc type deck because they can just race us. So we kind of want expressive iteration only against decks that um, against decks that do the thing where they just grind you out. And where Chalice is not good. I feel like that's kind of part of the idea here, right? Like, you know, you cut your Chalices and you make the, a very clean switch between iterations and Chalices. Right, 86, thank you for the follow. Mercator and Channel decks are the only decks you want iteration. Uh, no, I think that the the Nassif deck, I played a league the other day with the Nassif deck and iteration looked incredible in that deck, so... Um, I think that it's very good there. Rip was both great versus them and awkward for me. I think it was more great versus them than awkward for me, though. Is Dried a Frank quote? Yes, I actually did say that. I was wrong, draft was fun, Sandra is fucking busted. Well, I mean, you're talking about... Uh, you're talking about a different thing. GG's learned a lot of watching. Oh, thank you, right? I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out. Um, the thing is that I don't know what I would be playing, right? Also, I don't know if this is even worth it. Although I was playing a match against... Uh, <laughs> This is gonna be going live. This is gonna be going up soon in the ICE uh, website, in the ICE YouTube channel. But I played a, I played an insane match against the, against the control deck that came down to Koselec, against the the spike mid range deck that came down to Koselec off stream. I have one more ways to drag. We turn one Dragoman on the draw. I don't think that gut shot is the way to go though. Dismember. The thing is that even even as is, 
like I was I was scraping to find to find cards to cut against the Ragavan deck. So it gets to a point where just the cyber mapping just doesn't work. You just have too many cards for a single matchup and you just don't have bad cards to take out. So at that point, I'm just like cutting real cards that I actively want in my deck in order to make room for like a gut shot, you know? Um, so there's definitely a lot of diminishing returns. Uh, this deck has eight, uh, seven red cards, so it cannot support Fury, no. Mr. actually did kill Smirk Tide sometimes too. I don't know, like, again, my cyberling seemed fine against those matchups, right? My cyberling felt okay against those matchups. And it's not like I was ex I was scraping for playable cards. Like I I was actively happy to have every every card in my deck. So, so where do I think I need help? I don't know. I played ten matches total, right? So I don't I don't have a a, a, a good enough sample size. Uh, my losses were to oh, I forgot. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> what did I lose to? Um. What are the others too? Oh, one of the losses was burn. That's whatever. I don't care about that. And then the other loss was to Riley DK, who was playing. I totally forgot. Were they just playing like a grindy deck too? Oh, they were playing the um, the Villamacus deck. Yeah, that's what they were playing. I guess Emberpool deck, whatever. We never saw Hammer, no. So I have no idea how bad or good my Hammer matchup is. Maybe combo is where we need help. I also would not be surprised if the, the spike mid-range deck is, is popular, which makes me kind of want the those expressive iterations. This is tough, man. This is tough. Lightning Helix is an interesting card too. Lightning Helix kills Monkey and other stuff. It's good against aggressive strategies. Switched out of Nile Lens. Uh, I'm. I was trying this deck out. I've been. I've been high on this deck for a really long time. Basically, since the new format happened, since MH2 came out, I think that this is secretly one of the best decks in the format, and people just don't respect it. For real though, I wonder if we should have something for the elementals deck. I wonder if we should be playing a Torpor or in the sideboard, for example, or something like that. Hmm. This is definitely interesting. Nah, this... I mean, this cyborg seemed okay. Uh, the, the main deck is great. I don't think I would have changed anything from the main deck. The, the, the main deck felt very, very powerful. Um, and I do think that three Valakids is just perfectly fine. Like, it's not big of a deal. It's just... The three Valakids works perfect, and it's it's your worst card in, your, in the deck anyway. I never had situations where my mana was non-functional because I drew multiple Valakids. I didn't do any of that. I, I didn't run into any of that nonsense. So um, I do think I like just playing four Valakids, just having a nice uh, mana base that can cast my spells. Great, love it. Um, now the sideboard. Like the, the thing is that I look at my cyborg and I say every single one of these cards could be anything else. 
Like, they are all fine, but they, all of them could be something else, and I wouldn't, like, super miss them, you know? Would you want a creature Torpor so BTL can get it? Um, yeah, it's interesting, right? Um, the problem is that the, the new versions of the Elemental decks are playing Tokat, they're, they're playing, like, actual interactions, so... I guess for that matter, they're also playing Force of Vigor anyway, so... And they probably bring in Force because of Triad. Boy, did we know where... <laughs> no idea if you're ever doing that. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. Like, maybe just Verdict is good enough. Maybe you just want Supreme Verdict. But at that point, do I want a second copy? Because that's an interesting thing, too. And we could we could have a second copy of Verdict for that kind of matchup. And that would be very good. It could also be great against Hammer. I was also thinking about potentially playing something like Shatterstorm. For the Hammer matchup. So that's definitely an interesting option. Second copy of Verdict. Over the second explosives. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Uh, this one's honestly, I feel like I, I need to play matches with this card in order to know whether it's good or not. I understand the principle, but... I understand the principle, but I, I I don't know whether it's good. Like, in theory, it works, but I don't know. Yeah, killing Merc Tides is a big deal, too. That's, that's definitely right. The Fairy is kind of sick, too. This looks fine, though. Like, I don't look at this and I say, wow, this cyborg is incredible, but I'm just like, I'm I'm just like playing virtual games in my head, you know, I'm like, okay, yeah, so this, this card would work, this card would work, this card would work, kind of deal, you know? Maybe one more dispute or maybe something like a Veil of Summer is the only other things that I would consider, but like, against what decks anyway, right? Against what decks anyway? I mean, I'm definitely getting paired against decks where Veil of Summer or Mystical Defeat would be great if I played this in the showcase. 100% happening. But <laughs> if I'm looking about things in the abstract, then... What would I take out for the fourth Valakut? Nothing. That's why I'm not playing it. <laughs> I would not play the fourth Valakut. I don't think it's very good. That's why, I'm, that's why it's not there. So I wouldn't take anything for it. Um, yeah, this is definitely the shakiest card. This is definitely the shakiest card. But everything else I like. And this is just like, you know, do I want to give myself a shot against Mill or not? That's kind of the thing. And probably shouldn't be playing this. Whatever. But yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this league. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to hit a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.